Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right third here. That's his third 24. RBI, and they extend the Ken lead in this ball Ruffy game. Junior. Now batting, Ken Griffey Jr. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. In is the and third baseman, Evan Longoria. He leads off third their half baseman. of the eighth, and they've been Evan. unable to get that starter Longoria. out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Probably good he didn't make contact on that one. It's so tough to get around on a fastball up and in. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And another foul ball. It looks like fatigue's not going to be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Christian Colon stands in as he looks at a called strike. Ooh, good changeup, just missed inside. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. And he struck him out. The tenth victim sat down on strikes thus far. Now batting. Now to the plate, Catcher. Kurt Casale. Kurt. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. In there, and he's in control 0 oh 2 now. He's up to 100 pitches now, but he's still bringing the fastball pretty good. Nothing about that last throw tells me he's wearing down right now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes oh, through in the eighth to extend his hitting Center streak. Fielder. Yeah, come on, Steven. man. Eighth inning. He was getting me nervous. This looked like this might be his last at bat and his last opportunity. Steven oh. Souza checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. and oh. Well, that fastball's always the hardest one to lay off. It's right there in your eyes, and it looks so good. Good job of holding up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Hamilton sprinting after it. And that ball will stay fair. And it's gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. His second of the game. But they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Yeah, all things considered, it's been a day to forget for them. So this homer will be a welcome to everyone in that dugout. Maybe this gives them a little momentum going into the next game. Dylan Batensis enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Malik Smith, the next to hit. Squared that one up just a little late. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. To his left, Seeger, and not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Ninth inning coming up. The M's lead it 13 to 4. Striding into the box, Leading Mitch Hanniger. He'll lead things off as they look hitter. to perhaps build Mitch on an already Hanager. sizable lead. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Driven nicely into the gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. 
And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, First and he is on five. one right now. Yeah, and you've Freddy got to ride these streaks Freeman. as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. In now, Freddie Freeman lifted in the air to center field. Souza is under it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gun. Shortstop. So coming to the plate, Corey Seeger. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Two is left. Duffy throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score and here with the infield back they weren't giving him the run on a ground ball so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home good approach now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning so G Man Choi, the next to hit. Starting things for his Leading side up, in the ninth the as they face the, the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Now, a slurve is looked at here for strike two. The one and two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Another one sent foul. He'll try again, one, two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Corey Dickerson comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Chop foul over towards the dugout. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second. A dive and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Now batting the designated hitter, Tyler. Tyler White will bat next. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out ball. once. And he takes ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. 2 0 count. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here it comes on 3 and 0. Oh. And this is fouled at the plate. Set. Here's the 3 1. Swing and a miss. And now Tampa Bay's down to their final strike here. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Down to the final out, you get an infield single. Anything to cling on to a little bit of life. Let's see if Matt this sparks the rally. Duffy. Matt Duffy swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 14 to 4 is the way this one ends. Luis Severino wins his 23rd of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.
Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Again, we remind you for your next trip to Tropicana Field that all vehicles with four or more passengers receive free parking all season long. Also, a reminder that extra PSTA buses for routes 18, 32, and 74 can be picked up outside the stadium. <laughs> 